Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is the restoration of all things. Has our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ not said that he will come back when all things are restored? Or let's assume at least that they have started and are progressing in the right way. Then what was said in, in the prophets? Who will come to restore all things? What has Jesus also said about that person? It is Elijah. Elijah who will come before that great and terrible day of the Lord and he will restore all things. So what does it mean? It remain, remain means that things will be restored to its former glory. The altar, all that we are worshipping at, is in disarray, covered with sin, it will be restored to its former glory. I believe to the glory that it had in the book of Acts. And finally, as the multitude closed and wide, where will be ruptured into two? Into we will be ruptured into paradise. That is also the restoration of all things. Because it started with paradise, with Adam and Eve. And we will also enter paradise. There I am being rem reminded of the Alpha and the Omega, as it was in the beginning, so it will be in the end. The restoration of all things is now at hand. It will start with the first seal and will end with the millennium when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will rule this earth for 1000 years. The restoration of all things is very important and it must be started before Jesus will come down with Mount Zion at the sixth seal. So it must start and beginning at the first seal. Why? Because this is also the time period where the Antichrist will come forth. So there must be some counterweight, some counterpart to the Antichrist. And I believe this is the spirit of Elijah in many of us true believers who are willing to step out of the world and out of Babylon to restore the altar of old, to come together in love, unity and support, to build societies of the rose in their neighborhoods, to be separated from the world and to show an example how a true Christian should live and act. These people will be the standard that the Lord is raising against the flood of darkness, against the Antichrist and against Satan. The restoration of all things will start and it will start before the great and terrible day of the Lord. We have everything written in the Bible and everything what is written in the Bible will be fulfilled. All prophecies there will be fulfilled. So walk with us that path towards the holy mountain and help us to restore the altar to its former glory. Become like an early Christian full of zeal with a love for the Lord and the love for the Father sharing resources, supporting one another, sharing love meals, coming together daily. Don't have to do that in a church. Do it in your houses or in your meeting places, in your neighborhood. And then go forth into that neighborhood and let your light shine by lifting up the needy, supporting the helpless, the children, the orphans, the widows. Show the light of the Lord into the nations. Become an elder, a state or national leader with triple grace in this great exodus. Follow the link in the pinned comment to see how you can become an elder, a state or national leader. If you are guided so into the ministry of triple grace to help us that we can spread the messages to the whole world for all to see and that we can gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Help us in our mission in Cambodia, 
not only to establish their societies of the rose, but also to help the children in the need. Step out now. Be separated from the other lukewarm Christians that are around you. Step forward. Separate yourself from the world and from Babylon. And commit yourself fully to the Father. And abide in Jesus Christ. Repent and change your life completely. Walk a new path. The narrow, straight and middle path. That will lead you to the holy mountain. To Mount Zion. Where you will be raptured into paradise. Be part of the multitude clothed in white. Step out now. Don't be afraid of the wilderness that might be there. Because God will provide you with manna, with quails and with hidden goodness. He will guide you. He will walk in front of you. And Michael, at the end, nothing can harm you. Nothing will take you down. Because the Lord will cover you forever and ever. Thank you that you have listened to this topic of restoring, restoration of all things. I hope you liked it, and if you're guided, please sow into the ministry. The link will be in the first pin comment. We need your help so that we can spread the messages to all the people. Thank you. Thank you for your kind donation and your support. Without you, we cannot make it. I love you also dearly, my brothers and sisters. Not only you who donate, but also you who pray for this ministry and who spread the words, who sharing the messages and the videos to friends and families and to bring the people to become subscribers and members of triple-grace.com, our website. I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.